So in the next section, we're going to cover the logic behind the gameplay. So all these entities. We need to expand further on this. That way we can decide a winning condition, which would be to have three in a row. All right, so the first thing we'd want to do is probably create a matrix of numbers that we could use. So let's start adding variables. We're going to want it. integers. We're going to name this int11. Set value. Integer one one and the value is going to be based on what comes out from the previous function. So let's add something here. Uh, all right, let's make a variable called function return it. So we can have it as 1 if it is x, 2 if it is at or okay, I think that should be enough. And what else do we need? Let's go directly in the return function. So now what we're able to do is just add that over there. So if we click on it and then it returns a value, it will return one for true, no one for true, one for x and two for the o. Okay, now we just gotta duplicate int. We're gonna call it. One, two. All right, so now we're just going to link each one to the respective box. Okay. Now that we have all of those set, each of these integers from 1, 1, all the way to 3, 3 holds a value in the grid, similar to that, but just in an integer format. Now we can go for a win condition. So how do we do that? Well, so after every box is clicked, there is a chance that there is a win condition. So instead of having all these execute nodes going into the same thing, let's just create a custom event. Add custom event, we'll call it win condition. So this win condition is going to happen after this All right just need to duplicate it and put it everywhere Okay, so every time any of these boxes is clicked, this condition is clicked, which means it will go through here. Now, in order for us to have a bin condition, I guess I could make a matrix right here. So let me do get, get. Okay, 
just select all of them. Oh, there's the kit. Okay. So these are going to be our matrix values. And let me just label them. So we can play around with them later. All right, so let's go ahead and create a function for that and we can call this function winner. So what will this function have? Since we already decided that our numbers are going to take inputs as integers, we can add three of those, or we can call this value A, value B, and then value C. So this is where the winner would put their input in, and then we can take this, and it could be a branch. We should also probably make a variable, a string variable, which we're going to call winner name. So this is something we can set to display winner is x or winner is o. Okay. So either the winner is going to be x or the winner is going to be o. So now we just have to find a condition. And the condition is either all of them are 1 or either all of them are 0. So here we can do equal to integer. And we just got to do it. And then okay. Oh, I meant all of them are one or all of them are two. Uh, all right, and now you we can just use the and operator. So as so long as those are correct, if all of those are true, then it will go to that. And I guess we can have it here. Let's do another branch and duplicate that. And that. And let's find a return node. where both of them return to and should also probably be returning no winner name okay okay so this is our winning condition now we just have to make every single case of tic-tac-toe so it's going to be three wins on rows, three wins on columns, and then two on the diagonal. So in total, there will be eight cases. So we will do that in the next video.